Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today's video, I am upset, okay? By the way, ignore my little backdrop. It needs to be ironed, it's just struggling. But I was tired of the other one, so we're gonna just go with this, all right? So, from the title, you guys can tell, this is gonna be about how I face mask that's been, you know, claimed as the best thing out since sliced bread on YouTube has ruined or was trying to ruin my skin. So as you guys may or may not know, I did try a, well I've been trying, I've been using a turmeric face mask for years now. I've tried it before. It works perfectly good for my skin. I have a whole video up so if you guys are interested in that video, check it out because that is a mask I definitely recommend. Obviously whenever you're doing mask, if you're trying to you know take advice from youtube make sure that you always do spot checks don't just automatically assume what a youtuber says is gonna work for you okay so with that being said um i tried the face mask that everybody keeps talking about the potato face mask and i have it right here with me and at the beginning of this video or maybe at the end i'll show you guys exactly what i put in it to make it because i made a video because i was gonna like i made a video showing how i made it because i was going to show you guys and be like oh my skin but no so I put mine in this little jar and I had had it refrigerated which I have not used it since the first time I used it so yeah um I have not used that face mask since the first time I used it because it was trying to mess up all the hard work I had already put in by using the bomb turmeric mask so um the mask had potatoes lemon juice and rice flour three simple ingredients and you probably like oh why didn't you just spot check like you just said that's because I've used all of those three ingredients before just not in conjunction I guess so or together <clears throat> but I don't think it's I just think that whoever came up with like I don't know so yeah I've used them all before but just not together so I guess the mixture together just wasn't good for my skin I don't have sensitive skin so <clears throat> I didn't spot check I just thought I just didn't think I did not spot check I just assumed it was gonna work for me because you know like I said I don't have sensitive skin I've used all those ingredients before on my skin and nothing ever bad happened so um yeah so basically what happened was I used the mask I only left it on for like 15 minutes because it was my first time using it and I was gonna show you guys a video on day seven of me using it to show improvements what it's supposed to do is lighten your skin but not really lighten it it's just going to like fade away acne marks pretty much the same thing as the turmeric face mask did but I just wanted to get perfect skin as you guys can see my skin is still not perfect so I was still working towards that so I put that mask on and as soon as I took it off I had whiteheads all along like this side of my face and not only did I have whiteheads, I had blackheads. So it's like those black little bumps that are like whiteheads, but they just have like black. I don't know what they are. They might be from like clogged pores. I feel like that mask really clogged my pores for some reason. And so I didn't take no pictures, of course, because ew. And I don't know. I wasn't even going to say nothing about the mask. I was like, okay, well, this didn't work for me. And I definitely wasn't going to use it no more because it was a lot of them. So, and I didn't see no improvement of lightness of my dark marks fading which of course I know a lot of products don't work um in the same day that you use them but my turmeric face mask did work overnight so you know I just kind of had high hopes or whatever so um yeah it was like little white heads black heads it was just nasty and I'm sorry I know it's not good to, I know it's not good to pick at your acne but I just picked those scabs out not scabs but like you know when you have like white heads and black heads you could just easily push the stuff out I just do that because blackheads look disgusting to me and it's like you can literally see your pores are clogged so yeah all in all that's what I did that's what the face mask did to my skin um the next day I just went about using my same face routine that I had started off using in the first place and that pretty much helped my skin get back um back to normal um as you guys can see I still have like a few breakouts right here because I have really large pores up under here in this area for some reason. So other other places my skin is doing pretty good but 
that's just my one problem area so i just wanted to go ahead and give you guys my review on the potato mask and i know that you could only just use potato or only use rice like a lot of people don't use rice uh, a lot of people don't use rice flour but some people do and so i just feel like if i just use potatoes that wasn't going to work for me neither so i just feel like it's all the hype it didn't work for me let me stop it probably i don't know it might have worked for you guys let me know in the um comments down below if it worked for you and yeah um thank you guys for watching this short little video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys